The Apple Watch and a HomeKit smart home makes for an incredibly easy and simple smart home setup. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can control your entire HomeKit smart home just by using an Apple Watch. So how can you control your entire HomeKit smart home just by using your Apple Watch? Well, starting off with a basic way is by using the built-in Apple Home app on the watch. And the Home app looks and operates very much like the Home app on an iPhone. At the top shows you the status of your devices. However, it only shows you your devices in list view and not grid view like on your iPhone. And whenever you scroll down, you'll see other accessories. And these are devices that are most used at a specific time of day. And the accessories here will change based on your usage. So in the morning, it could be a light and at night there could be a fan and unfortunately you're not able to manually add or remove devices that are in this view on the very bottom of the app has your cameras so you can see what's going on in or around your house without having to get out your phone and then you have your rooms which are mirrored from your iPhone and this has all your scenes that you can just run with just a tap and you can control your devices like turn a device on or off and if it's a smart bulb then you can actually change the brightness by sliding or scrolling and you can change the color by swiping and choosing your color though you're not able to view the full color palette like you would be able to on your iPhone. The Apple Watch can also send you notifications or alerts when your HomeKit sensors or cameras detect something, like if a contact sensor on a door has been opened. And if you have a smart HomeKit camera with HomeKit secure video, then you can get an alert to know who was there. These alerts are mirrored from your iPhone and you can choose which devices to be alerted about and when to receive an alert based on a specific condition. If you have a HomePod, then you can actually talk to the people in your home just by using your watch using intercom. Intercom allows you to broadcast a message to all the speakers in your home or to an individual speaker in a room or a zone. This is great to use to announce like whenever dinner is ready and in the home app, you're able to adjust who can intercom if you share your smart home with somebody and which home pods can receive an intercom. And my wife actually uses the intercom feature more than I do. I like to work on YouTube videos early in the morning while my wife is asleep and she'll often just intercom from the home pod in our bedroom to my office to tell me that she's up and ready for coffee. I'll receive an alert on my watch and I can listen to the message by turning up the volume using the digital crown. And replying to an intercom is just as easy. Just press the intercom button and say what you'd like to say. Yes, I can. I'll be right there. And this is much easier than having to find your phone to call somebody or to send a text message. This can all be done hands-free. And speaking of talking to people in your home, Siri is available on the Apple Watch. Press and hold on the digital crown on the side of your watch and you can give Siri a command and she can turn on your lights or control any of your devices or run your scenes. Another way without having to press a button is to just say, hey, Apple Watch, and give her a command. But if there are HomePods in the room or nearby, oftentimes Siri will Will respond from the HomePod instead of the watch, even though the watch is closer than the HomePod, which can be annoying. And I actually have Hey Apple Watch turned off specifically for this reason. With a newer Apple Watch and raised to speak enabled, you can just raise your watch close to your mouth and she'll automatically start listening. And this makes it really easy to check on the status of your HomeKit devices, like seeing if a door is opened or closed without having to open up the Home app. And what's really cool is you can actually arm or disarm a security system just by using your voice. Though keep in mind, you will need to have a passcode set up on your watch to control certain HomeKit devices like smart locks and security systems for security and protection. Otherwise, Siri will tell you that you need to set up a passcode. If you'd rather not use Siri or the Home app on your watch to control your devices, then oftentimes the manufacturer of a smart device has an app built for the Apple Watch that you may like using better. Lutron has an Apple Watch app that will Allow you to control all of your Lutron lights from all of your rooms in one place and you can easily adjust the brightness of individual lights with four different brightness levels just by tapping. There are many great third-party apps designed for the Apple Watch as well that will actually give you more features than you would find in the Apple Home app. And the most unique app that I have found is called Home Run 2. This app is a quick and easy way to run your HomeKit scenes. In the iPhone app, you can create various grids with different scenes and the icons and colors are fully customizable. So you can choose from a wide variety of icons and there are various color palettes to really create your own design and layout. And you can resize icons and rearrange them if you like. Now, what most people don't know is that you can actually use a third-party app in a watch complication. And complications are small icons from various apps that will show you a little bit of information to view at a quick glance. 
This is the infographic watch face, one of my favorite watch faces, which shows me a lot of information at once. And everything you see here is customizable, from the color of the clock using the digital crown to scroll, to the complications on the corners and in the middle. So you could add smart apps here for quick access like the Home app, the Echobee app, the Home Run app, and more to really personalize your watch to your liking. But that's not even the best part. Home Run 2 works with multiple watch faces and you can actually choose what scenes appear on your watch at specific times of the day. In the iPhone app, it's really easy to create your day and choose what scenes will appear on your watch at what time and for how long. So maybe in the morning you want to run a scene that turns on some lights in your house and in the evening you want to watch a movie and the movie scene will automatically be on your watch right when you need it so you don't have to do anything else. My favorite way that I like to use the Apple Watch in my HomeKit Smart Home is to con oh wait, that's weird. I got a reminder that says coffee time. Coffee time? Coffee time, let's go. Us. All right, time to give me some coffee and I'll be good to go. But I don't want just any old generic and bland cup of coffee. I want some coffee with the freshest and the fullest amount of flavor. But there's one tiny little problem. I don't know how to make it. But thankfully Skillshare is sponsoring today's video and makes learning how to do this really easy. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. I'm trying to up my coffee game so I've been watching Beans, Brewers, and Black Coffee by Tom Pletz and he shows how coffee beans are picked and roasted, the science behind how the coffee flavor is extracted and the different brewing methods and how they affect the overall taste of coffee. Now let's make some coffee. Mmm, that tastes great. And Skillshare is a great place to learn a new skill that will match your goals and interests. And the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box or my code Adams Tech Life will get a free one month trial of Skillshare. And a huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. All right, I've had my coffee and now I'm ready to roll. One of my favorite features about having the Apple Watch in a HomeKit Smart Home is that I can easily see and control what's playing on all the HomePods and the Apple TVs all around my house straight from my wrist. And to do that, open the Now Playing app and here you can see what's playing on your iPhone, your Apple TVs, and your HomePods. Choose a HomePod and use the digital crown to increase or decrease the volume of your HomePod. And here you have playback controls to play, pause, or skip your songs. And you can easily send what's currently playing to another HomePod or HomePods to play on those as well. You can adjust the repeat and shuffle and see what's playing next and even add or remove a song to your library. And not only can you see what's playing on your Apple TV, but you also have playback controls to play, pause, and rewind or skip ahead. And to take this a step further, you can actually control your Apple TV from your wrist. This is pretty cool. On the bottom left of your watch, you'll see a very tiny remote. And this is what you can use to control your Apple TV. You can navigate your Apple TV by swiping, going back, and the TV button will either open the TV app or the home screen, depending on how you have this set up. And this is especially handy if you need to pause a movie or a show real quick and can't find your phone. You can just do it all from your watch. And what's also handy is the ability to run Siri shortcuts from your watch, which means that you can control non HomeKit compatible devices if the device supports Siri shortcuts. One shortcut that I like to use is to make sure that my front door is locked. When I run it, it'll get the current status of the door, then display it, and then ask me to unlock unlock it if the door is locked or to lock the door if it's unlocked. And then it was sending me a notification that that task has been done. There's a section in the shortcuts app on your iPhone to manage these shortcuts on your watch and you can rearrange or remove them from the watch. And if you don't see your shortcuts on your watch, then enable the show on Apple Watch in a shortcut. I'd love to know how you are using the Apple Watch in your smart home. Drop me a comment down below and thanks for watching by just using an Apple Watch. Oops just by using an Apple Watch. What? What's up with this thing? On which device should I open the app? Stop. Living room or Stop. Master? Stop. And to do that... Go ahead. Stop. On which device should I open the app? Siri, Living room I, hey, I'm trying to record a video. Shh. Thank you. I wish I could, but I can't search for photos here. I just said it'd be quiet. Are you done talking?